Hanan was lured to ISIS territory in Syria with pictures like these, promises of an Islamic caliphate that was, in her words, a paradise without racism or greed, guided purely by Islamic principles. Instead, she says she was imprisoned, beaten and accused of being a spy after refusing to marry an ISIS fighter. I did not understand. These girls were supposed to be my sisters. They said they loved me. They said I was smart and important to them. They invited me to their house. We ate together. We were doing everything together. I never did anything wrong to them, but they wanted me dead because I refused to get married. Hanan was lucky. An ISIS court ruled there were not enough witnesses to convict her, she says. She managed to convince her jailer to let her go. She spoke to us on condition we do not reveal her face. She is now in France under police observation. When I got back to France, I was considered as a girl who tortured people, like a monster who came back pretending to be a victim. I didn't hurt anybody there. The only person I hurt was myself. Dunya Buzar is the woman spearheading France's de-radicalization program, also Hanan's counselor. Muslim and outspoken, Buzar says she understands victims like Hanan because she was the victim of an abusive relationship herself. The fact is, I went through a moment of my life when I didn't feel like myself, when I was dominated, when I thought everything was over. I think that's now a strength that shows that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. There is a future. I tell those parents that their children are going to make their way through this difficult moment. Your child will save others. I'm sure that their experience will help France in the fight against terror. Buzar says the testimonies of returnees like Hanan are critical to turning recruits away from ISIS, but her work has also made her the target of ISIS death threats. She travels with at least two bodyguards. We are caught in a human chain and we become a wave crashing against these ISIS words. We will win because we love death more than you love life. We are constantly trying to prove that we will win because life is stronger than death. We get sucked into it. We need protection such as bodyguards so that we don't forget that there's still the danger out there. That is something Hanan cannot forget. For those people who want to come back and feel like they won't be accepted back into society, what have you learned from the process and from speaking with Dunya? I always think of these girls. I'm angry at myself because I could get out, but I left them over there. Sometimes I think I should have stayed to plan a better escape and leave with other people who wanted to leave Syria. I know there are some girls who want to come back, but they just can't. It's torture for a woman there, like you can't even breathe. Hanan says she now knows that paradise she was looking for exists only as ISIS propaganda, a catastrophic mistake she is hoping that Buzar can help to slowly undo. Atika Schubert, CNN, Paris.